Hello and welcome to my shop, such as it is. This is a deck box. We're putting a deck of cards in for trading card games. Um, this has been kind of a piece I've been experimenting with, trying to figure things out. The closest I've gotten to an actual functional one so far. Um, and I found I needed to put these in. I wanted to have something on the top going over the bottom because I've got magnets. Um, but they're not enough to secure it against um, like lateral shearing forces. They just pop apart. So I added these pieces, but there's a problem. One of them's already broken. Can you see what the problem is here? Aside from the fact that it's broken, this one has the same problem. It's the grain direction. The grain direction is running that way, so any force like that is going to snap it off very easily, as this one already did. So I need to fashion new pieces for these, and I need the grain to be running this way, not that way. Fortunately, I did not toss away the wood that I was using for this. So, so this is going to be a bit of a challenge to figure out how exactly I want to do this. Um, but it's certainly doable. Yeah, that's, that's breaking off even with the edge of the box, but I'm not going to break into that. Plus, this one has this brass, which I have another brass piece for. And this is just a little more narrow, and that is wide. So how do we want to approach this? Need to sharpen my chisels. Can I get a chisel in there? No, that bond is rock solid. Pretty a peach, but she's married to science. So what I'm thinking is a couple of cut marks with a finishing saw and then chisel out the material in between. That's what I'm thinking. Here we've got a finishing saw. Come on, there we go, there we go. All right, and it took a bunch of the underlying mahogany with it, wonderful.
The glue is stronger than the wood. But we knew that. All right, I still got the pieces here, actually. I can glue them back in. Just need to trim these down a little bit. Oh yeah, that, there we go. That's the stuff. Nothing quite like a nice sharp chisel. I'm not getting hung up on these other bits would also be nice, but. I mean, this, this box is kind of a hodgepodge because it wasn't really planned out or anything. It was uh, it's kind of, huh, I wonder what this might look like. What do we have for wood kicking around? Let's make a box. What things does a deck box need to have that... A plain old ordinary box might not need to have. And it shipped out. Mother fracking. It's okay. Everything's fine. This is fine. We're all fine here. How are you? Well, we first things first, we want to glue this chip back in and let that start curing while I'm fiddling around with the rest of this. This is learning process is what this is. Okay. And while we're in here, let's just see if we can't cut this side out too. Seriously? Seriously, that's how you're gonna do me? Uh, you know, even with that nice, sharp pointing to start with. Well, that also took a bunch of mahogany with it. To clean out a little more cleanly. Look at that, just sheared it right off. You know why? Because the glue bond is stronger than the wood bond. All right, I don't think it's absolutely necessary to get this stuff patched back in, but I'm going to do it anyway.
just because it makes me happy that way. Just because I want to. I mean, this is rough as all hell anyway, no matter what. All right, I'm going to pinch these for a second and let the glue set up enough to hold it while I contemplate my next step. You know, throw some light duty clamps on this. I will hold that momentarily. Now, now for this, which is going to be hard to do with this occupied. Well, how do we want to do this? Because I can't, I can't, I can't put it in with the green in this direction because it's just going to leave it open to, it's going to break too easily. Because if any kind of forces are going to be here, they're going to be forces like this. It's going to tend to just snap through that. So it has to be this way. Which means it's just, it's just going to be more narrow than that. I cut it a little too long. Cut it a little too long and we can trim it down. I'll figure something out. I'll come up with some kind of decorous, decorative who's and what's. these to be about the same length. Mm. 
Good to have a shooting board. Maybe I should get on that. <clears throat> All right. I know it's only been a couple of minutes, but hopefully that'll be enough that they can stay in place while I fuck around with this. I mean, I would like to chamfer that end, which is easy enough to do. Okay, this is the back, this is the front. So let's do the back first. I, mean, I arbitrarily say back and front. You could also say like part A and part B. If I can use some my little No, it's not so great. I have to sand this if I want to adjust that shape, that angle. Without getting any tear out. Preferably without sanding a hole in my thumb again. I seem to have a penchant for doing. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to do it like that. And we're going to give this top part just a little bit of a round over. Just a little bit of a round over. And now... Let me step up to some higher grit stuff. Just to kind of smooth it off. finish this at least these parts of it but that's fine everything's fine yeah so I'll put this on like this it's going to leave a little bit of a gap on each side but I think I can cut um, 
some maple or maybe a piece of cherry, just to put like a contrast in color in there, or maybe a tiny sliver of purple heart or something. Because we're not going to be able to hide it. So we, what we really want to do is contrast it. All right, so that's that side. This side is a little bit different in that we've got the brass piece there. There's not there's not much to work with here. Probably should clamp this, right? That would be the fucking smart thing to do. Love these Japanese saws. I mean, I have an American style saw as well. But I think they each have their place. But I do love the Japanese pull saws. I mean, I, I haven't actually used a proper Western style dovetail or tenoning saw. It's a smidge too low, but I'll take it. Yep, yep, yep. All right, we are positive on this one. Step it up another grit. I'm gonna grab whatever I have handy. glue these fuckers on now. Then I'll come back in a little while and do the inlays. I've had some time to think about it. No, squeeze out. I guess that's so you can cap it off if you want. I don't know. Okay, 
And again, we can go with the light duty clamps here. Really isn't much more than just holding it in place while the glue sets. So actually don't need a ton of clamping force here. Plus apparently it wants to slide everywhere. All right, smaller clamps. If we have any left, if we do, we have two left. No, don't go sliding over. You stay right over there where you belong. You are to be held in place, and that's it. You don't want to squish that down too hard. You will crack the box. Okay. Let that dry or set or whatever the hell it is that type of glue does. And meanwhile, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Seems about right. I'll see you in the next video, okay?